Hello and welcome to Storytime with Collie. Tonight's story is about a little girl. I'm sure we all know her. Her name is Little Red Riding Hood. Let's find out what she does when she meets the big bad wolf. Here we go. Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a kind and a helpful girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She lived with her mother in a cottage at the edge of the forest. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked for her help. Oh, Little Red Riding Hood, she said, your grandma isn't feeling very well. Please, would you take her a basket of food? Soon, the basket was packed and Little Red Riding Hood was ready to go. As Little Red Riding Hood was leaving, her mother gave her a warning. Be careful in the forest and be aware of the big bad wolf, she said. And Little Red Riding Hood went on her way. She had not gone very far before the big bad wolf appeared. Hello, little girl said the wolf. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just walking to my grandma's with this basket of food, said Little Red Riding Hood, and off she went. Little Red Riding Hood soon came to a clearing in the forest, filled with lovely flowers. How pretty, said Little Red Riding Hood. She knew that her grandma loved daisies, so she picked some and popped them into her basket. Then she continued on her way. Little Red Riding Hood skipped off through the trees and before too long, she came to a big old oak tree. Oh look, she said, what lovely acorns. I'll put those in my basket. You never know when they might come in handy. With the flowers and the acorns in her basket, Little Red Riding Hood continued on her way. Little Red Riding Hood wandered along and by and by she came across a bear with a huge jar of honey. Hello, said the bear. Can you help me pour this honey into my jars? You can take a jar with you if you do. So Little Red Riding Hood stopped to help the bear. Then, with the flowers and the acorns and the honey in her basket, Little Red Riding Hood skipped off through the trees. In next to no time, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandma's house. Hello, Grandma, she called. I'm here with a basket full of all sorts of things. I'm in bed, my dear called a voice through the door. It was quite dark inside the cottage. Little Red Riding Hood went over to the bed with a curious look on her face. Hmm. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear you with, my dear, came the reply. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, my dear, came the reply. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, my dear, said the big bad wolf. He had been disguised as Grandma all along. And with that, the wolf jumped out of the bed and chased Little Red Riding Hood around the room. Quickly, Little Red Riding Hood reached into her basket. She took out the flowers and waved them under the wolf's nose. The wolf sneezed and sneezed and sneezed. But that didn't stop him for long. So Little Red Riding Hood reached into her basket again. 
She pulled out the acorns and threw them onto the floor. The wolf skidded and slipped and skated all over the floor. But that didn't stop him either. So Little Red Riding Hood reached into her basket for the very last time. She took out the jar of honey and threw it all over the big bad wolf. Yuck! I'm covered in sticky honey! yelped the wolf. Just you wait and see what happens next, said Little Red Riding Hood. The sticky honey smelled so delicious that a swarm of bees flew through the window and chased the wolf out the door. The big bad wolf ran down the road and he was never, ever seen again. As soon as the big bad wolf was gone, Little Red Riding Hood unlocked the cupboard and out jumped Grandma. Little Red Riding Hood laid out the delicious food from her basket and then she and her grandma had a wonderful feast and they both lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs>